So I just got the Benevolent Leader achievement in Fallout 4, and it almost drove me to the point of lunacy. For those of you who don't know what this achievement is about, you basically have to get a large settlement to 100% happiness. Easy, right? Well, that's what I first thought, but if you can't already tell, this achievement sucks butthole. This achievement isn't hard, but it's like Grell the kind from Skyrim, whose sole purpose is to suck the fun out of life and drink the salty, sad tears from your distressed struggles. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grellid. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Now, it might sound like I'm over-exaggerating just a bit, but you have to understand that all I did for two solid months was live, breathe, and think about Fallout 4 in my most private moments. This achievement, by the way, here's a fun game you could play. I took a drink every time I say achievement in this video. Forces you to play in a certain way and is a giant grind fest. So instead of running around the commonwealth in your undies and a high school mascot's head, committing countless murders with a bladed baseball bat, because, you know, Fallout. You have to spend skill points on perks that'll benefit your stupid fucking settlement. I managed to start a new game of Fallout 4 because I had a really strong urge to play it and do the Institute's questline to number one, get the nuclear family nice achievement, job. two, do a different questline since I first did the railroad questline, didn't touch the game for about a year, and it gets boring being a Harriet Tubman of the future. And three, fuck up the Brotherhood again. After completing the game, I figured I might kill two birds with one stone, so I began my journey to become the benevolent leader. That was a mistake. Logically, it makes sense to build up your character and resource to build a dope-ass settlement. Except this achievement buttfucks all your plans in previous playtime. If you want to get the vanilla leader, I suggest you start a character with a focus on charisma and intelligence, and all the other skills can go fuck themselves because this achievement demands you spend all your perk points in those two areas. You have to get perks like cap collector, local leader, science, gun nut, scrapper. Yeah, just try doing a character run through with just those perks. It fucking sucks. Yeah, I'd really like to get rifle and then have a fighting chance out there. My settlement really needs a clothing store to be happy, so I guess I'll just get shit on. My problem was trying to get all these essential perks for this achievement at a high level. I started it at level 45 with no previous investment in settlement building perks. It was a giant pain in the ass. I'd spend a whole day leveling up so I could get the cap collector to rank 2 and set up a fucking air apostle in my settlement. Having explored the commonwealth for XP and materials isn't fun when it doesn't continue going towards further exploration. Exploration, combat, quests, and all their activities that are supposed to be fun in the game with the side benefit of XP and crafting material ultimately just becomes a chore. Another reason this achievement slaps you right in the testicles is the fact that it makes you spend all your hard-earned bottle caps you gathered during your initial stroll through the Commonwealth. And after you spent your last cap, you'll be turning every single fucking surface for a goddamn cap. When I finally got this achievement, I ended up with 13 settlers, three who pick food for the settlement, and the other 10 run tier 3 shops. 10 fucking three tier shops. That's two restaurants, one bar, because bars are pretty pimp, three surgery centers, two general stores, and two clothing stores. That's a total of 13,900 bottle caps invested into just building stores. That could have easily bought some of the cooler weapons of the game, like the big boy from Arturo in Diamond City, which shoots two mini nooks, consuming only one. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Building shops in your settlement is cool and useful, but honestly, one of each is fine. There's no variety among similar shops, so building more than like 4 or 5 in a single settlement is ridiculous. It's a huge investment in time and caps that, unless you have a lot of settlers, have little to no return profit. Plus, it's such a fucking grind. I'd spend whole days doing quests and collecting caps just to buy one tier 3 shop, and even then the happiness meter would only go up about 1%. It was painful. I still have nightmares about it. So you're probably thinking right now, you're a fucking idiot person. There are so many simpler ways to get this achievement done. You just wanted to whine and swear in a video for a couple minutes. Yes, you are correct. The game has been out for two years now and I know there are so many ways to easily get this achievement. I also fucking love swearing. The reason I did this achievement legitimately rather than do this the easy way is because I love this game. I'm probably not going to touch it for a long time, but still the game is one of my favorites. Benevolent Leader provides a challenge that adds significant longevity to Fallout 4. Since I want to play this game, I might as well play it for as long as I can and achieve something few have done. I've complained heavily about how much of a chore it was to turn on Fallout 4 and spend all day working on my settlement. It was a drag, but I loved it. I loved playing Fallout 4 and still had fun. If I hated this game, I obviously wouldn't even try. 
The fact that I really like Fallout 4 and having a chance to play it for longer, despite completing its core tasks, is one of the reasons I kept going. Also, when you do this achievement legitimately, you might surprise yourself and end up with something that you actually feel proud of. You know, your settlement happiness meter finally takes over to 100 and the achievement notification pops. You let us sigh relief and take a step back and look at all the work you put into it to make it possible. You know, I think almost everybody knows this kind of feeling, working on some project for school or work. It's really hard and took up a lot of your life. When it's all done, you realize that what you made is something unique and really good. I'm pretty proud of my settlement. It was something I built out of scraps and designed solely to serve a purpose. But the more I got into it, the more I decorated and built structures around it. And I made it into something I didn't expect at all when I initially started. It was like a work of art. In the end, a bit awe-inspiring and satisfying to see the fruits of my labor come together into a genuinely beautiful place. I didn't get paid for it, contribute anything to society. But damn, did I pimp out the fucking eyesore that is Sunshine Tidings Co-op. So despite the last couple of thoughts in this video, this achievement still sucks. If Fallout 5 has an achievement like this, I'm gonna fly to Maryland, head to the Bethesda offices, and slap everybody in the building right in the mouth. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Ephraim. Adios.